Hey guys, and today's video is on getting started with the Pi Pico. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is plug in your Pi Pico. If you have already done messing around with it and you want to get it back to the factory settings, all you have to do is hold down the button and plug it in. And it should recognize it as an external device on your Pi. So you want to open it up and it shows index HTML, HTM, sorry. So you click on this and it will take you to the Raspberry Pi website uh, where you can download the correct files. So you need to choose here whether you're gonna use MicroPython or whether you're gonna use C++. You can always reset it as I just said uh, all you've got to do is plug it in, hold and boot, and change the file. So with using MicroPython, you want to download the UF2 file, which you'll find here. The link is also in the description below. So once we have that, what we need to do is click on the file you downloaded and drag it into the Pi. It'll take a second, it will turn off and reboot by itself. It won't show it again when it pops up. Um, so once it's rebooted, it won't show it as an external device. The next part you want to do is on your terminal, open it up and type in sudo at install minicom. I should already have it installed. Um, you might have it installed already. If not, just install it. And then you want to type in minicom-o, so that's a lowercase o, dash d, it's an uppercase d, t, sorry, slash dev, slash tty, ACM0 and you've now opened the Pi and you'll be able to use it. So if you press enter again, you should go into MicroPython. So now we can do print hello Pico, like the example says, and we've got it back. Now if we type in from machine import pin LED equals pin we do 25 so that's the built-in LED pin and we type in pin dot out and then do LED dot value set to one, which is on, and now the LED has just turned on. So if you want to turn it off, you type in LED dot value, bracket zero, put off, and now it's off. So I hope that tutorial is quite simple and has got you started. And from there, you can upload your own scripts and copy and paste them over. It's quite simple to use. And if you follow the documentation in the file linked in the description, you should be able to get many modules up and running and your own project started soon. So I hope by now for getting started, it's really worked for you. And if it hasn't, feel free to message me on my Instagram account. The link is in the description below. Uh, all the links for downloading the software is also in the description. Uh, if you haven't already checked out my video on the comparison between the Pi Pico and the Nano, you can check that out here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.